Hey there. Good afternoon. How's it going? This is lovely Koh Tao Island, Thailand. What a scene of the main bay. Today is January 12th, about 5.30 p.m. It is kind of late to be starting a video, but that's the way that it is. So as some of you will have seen, I took a boat over from the mainland, Champan. That was two days ago. I had booked three nights accommodation here, as you saw at the beginning there. But I was just kept busy yesterday and then through most of today, catching up with work, etc. Tomorrow I am leaving. I have a ferry over to Copanyon and then we'll be staying there for at least uh, four days. So this is the way that it is. We just got to make the most of it. I want to uh, get away from here, the main bay, beach, town, etc. And go see what we can see of the island in the next just little while with the light uh, that we have left. Yesterday I went up there, up and over to a little bay on the other side and had uh, lunch there and a couple of drinks and was working away on my computer. So I uh, still have the motorbike. Let's go grab it and head the other direction up there. So as I have mentioned previously, this is my second time here. I was here almost exactly a decade ago. And so I've seen the island, otherwise I probably would have stayed longer. This island is quite small. It is about the same size as the other two islands that I visited, Koh Phayam and Kocheng. The small Kocheng, not the big Kocheng. And so you can see it in, you know, half a day, get around and see most of the stuff. But it is a really, really sweet island, and so it is definitely worth staying for some days. I forget how long I was here the last time, but I feel like it was a while, like at least a week, maybe 10 days, something like that. But uh, anyways, let's get cruising. Go see what we can see. 250 baht or seven dollars for the motorbike per day. It's really quite crazy how popular this island has gotten. There is traffic. Of course it is high season now in the middle of winter. The weather has been great my entire past more than two weeks in Thailand. I don't think that I've seen a single drop of rain. Jun Chao Bay. Maybe we'll head down there. But uh, let's go this way first. So uh, point being that uh, this is the uh, main tourist season, but man, it has definitely changed in the past decade since I was here the last time. And so we have a nice looking bay here. Big Bubble Beach restaurant and bar. Here we go, very nice uh, bay here. Really nice uh, spot here. That water looks so inviting. I took a swim earlier in the afternoon. All right, let's uh, just keep cruising and uh, 
try to see a little bit more with the tiny little bit of light we got left. View point. Let's go see what it's like. A little bit of a hike. A little uh, shrine there. Hello. Is it a restaurant also or? The main thing is we we'll point and we have food for service also. Okay, great. With this ticket, 50 baht. You can get some drinks free up there. Okay, uh, 50 baht you said? So 50 baht, that's just a dollar fifty for whatever we're gonna get here. Which I am going to do quickly. Bar up there, I guess that is the uh, view. Oh, up top there, let's check that out. I guess that is the 360 view. Not bad. That puts things in perspective. Just gorgeous. So I guess that is the bay that I was just at. And then the main bay out there. Another really nice one here. I think that is Shark Bay. I remember going there the last time. Let's go get a closer look. Welcome to the beach. Free entry. No allow outside food drink. Available at beach. So I think this must be the way to Shark Bay. Let's find out. Okay. I've been here before and I don't remember it being a uh, tiny little path. Well, the water is right there. Maybe this is like the far end of it or something. Or maybe I need to go further on the road. We shall see. Seems like nobody else is coming down here though. Okay, yes, I think it is the far end of it. Or is it a separate little beach? I think that it might be. Let's get a view. Around this area, no free seating. You drink something at bar, so if you're gonna take a seat, buy a drink. Okay, there we have the answer. This is a separate little beach. Okay, let's try to get over to Shark Bay itself. There again is the Big Bubble Beach Restaurant Bar. So to get to Shark Bay, you have to go quite a ways out of the way. I mean, it's all relative, it's just a minute or two, but uh, anyways, you have to wrap around and access it a different way. Probably I could have gotten over to the beach by the looks of it from there, just walk along the rocks, but... Uh, this is the way, especially if you're coming from the other side of the island to access it by road. We got a hitchhiker. So you can see there it says guest bike parking only. 
guest bike parking only. To all visitors, non-resort guests, the Had Tian Beach Resort is a privately owned property. Although the resort will allow access to visitors, we reserve the rights to limit and refuse the same. Entrance fee, 100 baht per person. So we'll see if I end up paying that. That is $3. So to get here then, I ended up on this road that went past a hotel resort entrance that said resort guests only. I continued past that and then the road was going up the uh, hill, like way steep up there. And that wasn't going to work, so I turned around and then looked on Google Maps and it was pointing me into the hotel. And so I like looked at the uh, security guard and he just waved me in. So Shark Bay is now very much uh, privately owned. I don't remember if that was the case last time, but I don't think there was this uh, kind of secure entrance. I remember a restaurant. I don't remember if there were, you know, maybe these same bungalows or not. But uh, we're in, so let's uh, take a look. I am considering whether to stop here, but I'm thinking that I won't and we'll get back to the main beach with a little bit of light that I have left and show more of the main town and beach. So I was never charged the 100 baht. Okay, so before we were over there and then up, I guess there, I can see people on top of that hill. Nice spot. I wonder how accurate it is as far as sharks. I don't think uh, sharks are much of a problem at all to people. I think pretty much zero in Thailand. I have seen sharks while snorkeling underneath me. Good size, like five to six feet long, maybe nurse sharks or something, but apparently they're harmless. It was still a little unnerving. I mean, that close to sharks, almost the same size as me, but uh, I haven't heard about any shark attacks in Thailand. If there are any, they happen very, very rarely. All right. That is it, Shark Bay. That is basically the uh, island tour. Let's uh, get back to Hat Sairi. Hat or Had means beach. Sairi Beach is the main big bay. And so here you get a good idea of how busy it is when it's busy. Tasty Mediterranean food, Dairy Queen, Taxi, Song Tao, Exchange, Red Pharmacy, Fruit Shake, the most delicious pancake, for sure. You will come back. The beach is very, very close. That is the way to Hin Wong Bay, which is where I went yesterday. And also stopped at the viewpoint up there that I showed previously. Okay. How do we want to get over to the water? All right, let's do the uh, walk through the nightlife scene. Not uh, late enough for actual nightlife. but it will be starting soon. So I'll tell a, a very quick little story of something that happened right here, which is of course why I thought of it. I think literally right up here. So earlier today I had uh, breakfast on the beach at a restaurant up ahead. Yeah, it was literally right here. 
so I parked my motorbike right there and came back to it and I was blocked in. I had parked my motorbike this way, like this, up against it, and somebody was parked, another motorbike, right next to it. Completely not possible to get it out. Now, there was a local Thai guy sitting nearby. I kind of gestured to him, like, any ideas whose bike this is? Any points? And, uh, there were a couple of guys right nearby at the front of that other, uh, like, bar talking. And so he seems to indicate it's one of those guys. And so I get uh, their attention while they're talking there. We got a... Uh, Motorbike and dog. And one of the guys says, yeah, it's his, and he'll move it. And then while he is getting his uh, motorbike out of the way, I realize I recognize him. Because uh, he was on the boat coming from Chumpon two days ago. And I had seen him up uh, by the front. I showed video clips like showing scenes and stuff, and he had been up there like with his phone taking video clips and stuff like that and so he'd been right in front of me as I was sitting there looking forwards on the boat and so I just remembered him from having seen him you know for a couple minutes pretty funny nice guy Tom from England all right the uh, water is right there Just barely in time to catch a bit of a view of the bay. Look at this amazing tree. Amazing uh, colors. I'm sure it was a spectacular sunset earlier. Let's go this way. So the uh, place where I've been several times is just up ahead on the right. But I want to go somewhere different for tonight. So uh, let's check the options. So, right here, it is called Wind Beach, and I highly recommend it, both because good food, good drinks, good service, and especially if you're a digital nomad, they have insanely fast Wi-Fi, like more than 200 megabits a second, pretty much like the fastest Wi-Fi I've seen anywhere traveling, very uh, stable, so a uh, good spot to uh, hang for a few hours, get some work done. Okay, let's see what else we got down here. This place looks pretty cool, well lit, and sort of the end not the absolute end, but uh, getting close to the end of the beach. Let's take a look. One fifty baht for cocktails. That is four dollars twenty-seven cents. Three ninety euros. Not bad. Kotao is not cheap, but. Uh, 
there are some good deals. The motorbike is a good deal. My room is really nice for uh, the price considering where we are. But you can pay a lot more. The food is very reasonably priced. Appetizers, 100 baht, 120, that's $3, $3.50. Popular dishes, fried rice with vegetables, 100, three bucks, 120, 160, 150, 200, three to six dollars. Fish will be more expensive. Salads, 100, 110, 120, Again, three dollars or so. Thai soups, curries, two twenty, two fifty. Getting up to you know six, seven, eight dollars. Still a very fair deal. Got a mojito. Let's give this sucker a try. Mm -hmm. 